Hi, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed your first week of Leading Edge. I am so excited by the level of participation in the discussion boards and so impressed with the wide range of experience and levels of expertise that all of you have. I'm already getting ideas of new, new tools to explore, such as Schmoop. This week, you will be exploring the differences between online and face-to-face -face instruction and learning. You will create a discussion prompt for your students and create a presentation summarizing some relevant educational research. Remember, to access the readings for the week, go to the second content block and click View Site. For the 2.1 discussion prompt, please write something that will be relevant to your content, your curriculum, and your students. You are welcome to embed links, video, or audio components if it helps to set up your prompt. If you are involved in professional development or other teacher support, feel free to write a prompt for your adult learners. It will help everyone if you include a short introduction about your target audience or put it in the title bar so that we know who it is you're working with. Pay attention to the rubric to know exactly what is expected for this first portfolio assignment. Note that you must have a discussion prompt that's connected to learning objectives and that you must have clear expectations for student posting and responses to peers. For your rubric or expectations for students, I know that there are only so many ways to say, respond to at least two other people's posts. Feel free to use existing rubrics from your content or from the content of Leading Edge as your base if you'd like. But please customize them to match your content and your audience, and be sure to cite them. For the 2.3 discussion, please respond to at least two people's prompts. You can reply to the prompt as if you were a student, or reply about the prompt if you have feedback and suggestions. Since the discussion prompt is a portfolio assignment, it's important that we all take the role of critical friend and provide meaningful suggestions to strengthen each other's work. For assignment 2.2, you may pick any research that fits your content area or online learning or educational technology in general. You may present that research in any way you choose as long as you publish to the web, which is what makes it a Web 2.0 tool. You can use Prezi, you can use Jing, you can use any kind of screencasting tool that you choose and publish to YouTube. As long as you publish to the web, you will be fine on your summary of research. And with that, enjoy your week. And let me know if you run in, into any difficulties. And I will see you online.